Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out in the garage and do a little uh, little plinking, a little shooting out here tonight. Um, this is one I had uh, done a video on, I don't know, about a month or so, maybe two ago. And uh, I wanted to give it some more, some more test time here tonight. And I'm just trying some different pellets with it. Um, been shooting it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> boy, this thing does have a, after shooting some of those other ones I got, this thing does have a rough trigger. Um, it, uh, boy, the, the pounds on it's got to be eight or nine pounds. But um, I did uh, tear it down uh, before I, I was doing some shooting and it was just really rough. And I did tear it down and uh, the, uh, the sear part that uh, actually the trigger uh, hold would ride on had like a knife edge on it and I was able to file that off so it, it it's a little smoother now but it's still really heavy <clears throat> um, but anyway so this is a Umer X uh, Ruger Mark IV licensed copy um, like I said you've seen this one before and uh, I just tested out the range real quick with uh, I think maybe one or two pellets but uh, so I just got my target across the garage here again, um, testing a bunch of different pellets. Um, so I've got some uh, Game O Match. These are a 7.56 green. Um, got my seven green Diab Diablo Basics from RWS. Um, these ones are a 7.3 green uh, Excite Plinking. Those seem to be a nice little pellet. Um, then I have some uh, 7.4 green Premier Crossman Pr Premier Wad Cutters. <clears throat> These ones are Crossman as well. Uh, 7.9 green Hollow Points. And uh, the last ones we're going to be doing tonight are these uh, RWS Super Domes. And uh, they're 8.3 green, so they're the heaviest ones out of everything. Um, not going to keep you on camera for for everything, but I'll do a couple of uh, rounds with you, and then I'll do the rest of them off camera, and then we'll compare uh, groups, and uh, we'll see how it did. Um, it is tough. Like I said, it is tough to get a decent group with as heavy as the trigger is, but it's still fun to shoot. Um, once you shoot this and you go over to something else that's got a great trigger, uh, you really learn to appreciate it. Um, if anybody, you know, I would think there might be some like aftermarket support for something that's as popular as this but uh, if anybody has any information about something like that uh, let me know in the comments below um, I sure would like to hear something about that I don't know if I want to had it apart there's a there's a big spring in there I wonder if you could put a lighter spring in there I wouldn't want to mess around with shortening that one but if you could get a string a uh, spring that was you know because even, even without it cocked, it's it's very heavy to pull. So, um, and then once you add the sear onto there too, it just makes it uh, unbelievably heavy. So, but, uh, so you just cock it down like that, break barrel, and uh, I'll shoot the premier uh, hollow points here. I already have them all marked on the target, What uh, which one's gonna be which. Always gotta remember with this one, every time you cock it, it sets the safety on. So, uh, and again, I'm, I'm shooting at a target like this with little tiny bullseyes. So, can you guys see the uh, the results if they're not all in the black? Uh, you know, this this gun is. Uh, I think more intended to be a, uh, a soda can plinker, but uh, well, if we could do something about the trigger, though, I think this would really be could be a really good, uh, really good shooter. It. Uh, When I do get a clean break on the trigger, it uh, 
So I have one that's outside the black and the other, I think I shot three or four so far. The other three are all in the black of the circle. So not too bad. And that one's in the black as well. Uh, no, I shot that one low. All right, so now I'll shoot the uh, RWS domes. I'll shoot five of these and then we'll cut it off. I'll go get that target and we'll bring it up here and take a look at it. So. I was kind of wondering if maybe the Trigger might get better you know, as I shoot it, but I've shot quite a few rounds through it and it doesn't seem to be smoothing out at all. So, it is a fun gun to shoot, though. I did order the uh, the Umarex uh, Browning. Uh, Buckmark, which looks like it's the same gun as this, just with uh, a Buckmark uh, skin on the outside instead of a Ruger. But I will be pleasantly surprised if it uh, has a better trigger. Try so hard to get a good trigger pull and just all right. So that was uh, I think I think that was actually six shots with the, with those ones. So let me uh, cut this off. I'll get the target box and bring it over here to the bench, and we'll take a look at those targets. Alrighty. So here we go. Here's the. Uh, the game-o, uh, it wasn't too bad, um, just a vertical string there, the bottom one's right down here and then throw in a string there. Um, the Diablo Basics, again, four of them are in the, in the black and then one uh, just outside, but pretty decent little group right there. Um, the Excites were shooting a little high, I did flinch one over here, I'm sure that was just me, but that's, uh, and that's annoying for sure. Um, Gotta say, these Premier Wad Cutters, uh, for whatever reason, really seem to do well. That's all five of them right there in that little tiny group. Um, the Premier Hollow Points, I got three in the target, and then one, two out. And then the, uh, what was it? Super Domes. The Super Domes, uh, not so great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I thought I shot six, but maybe there's another one down there. Kind of looks like two right there <clears throat> but uh so those didn't do so well so it uh, looks like the premier wide cutters are probably the best but anyway i'll get you back on the video and we'll wrap it up Alrighty, friends so hope i didn't sound too negative about it but uh you know i wish really wish there was something we could do about the uh about the trigger on this guy um it doesn't shoot terrible. You can see that uh, with, especially with those Premier Wad Cutters, uh, really laid down a pretty nice group. Um, does have a, uh, does have a rifled barrel, uh, so that helps with uh, with the accuracy for sure. Um, it does have a fiber optic uh, front sight, so that helps you see what you're shooting at better. Um, Pretty nice sighting system on it overall, but yeah, if there was one complaint, it would be the trigger. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions as far as how to make that uh, a little better, I think this could be a real, really nice shooter. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate everybody being on the channel. It's really growing great, and I, I thank everybody for being here. But uh, <clears throat> we'll see you again next time.
Have a great day.